Welcome to our Quincy College community. My name is Dr. Lisa DeRusso, and I'm the Director of Online Learning here at Quincy College. The pandemic has changed the way we live, work, and learn. And as we continue to live in this time of uncertainty, it is important to recognize that many of us would prefer to have in-person classes. Although for right now, our courses are primarily online here at Quincy College, we continue to focus on your academic success. So, in this video, I will provide five tips to help you be successful in your online courses. So, let's get started. Tip number one, begin with the course Start Here module. At Quincy College, all of our online courses begin with a Start Here module, which begins with the course welcome page. This page is very important because it provides you with all of the important course information, including information about your instructor. You should review all of the information on the welcome page and be sure to read through the course description, course objectives, and course requirements and materials. Also in the Start Here module, you'll find the Quincy College Technical Support page. This page provides a lot of important information to help you get started in the course. For example, we have offered recommendations for browsers to use when working in Canvas, our course learning management system. We have also linked many Canvas tutorials that you might find helpful. Tip number two, set a time and a place for online learning. First and foremost, online learning might be completely new to you. So I suggest that as you transition to online learning, you keep your normal behaviors as much as possible. For example, if you typically bring coffee to class, which I do, do the same when you're working online. Keeping even the smallest behavior the same will help you relax instead of changing up your entire lifestyle. Also, I recommend that you identify a place to complete your coursework. Now, this doesn't have to be fancy. It could be a kitchen table, a quiet room at home, maybe with a desk or a small table, or it could be at a coffee shop. Wherever you feel most comfortable and can concentrate will work. What is important is that when you are in this location, you know it is time to focus on schoolwork. Another suggestion that I have is to log into your course several times a week to avoid having to cram and working around the clock at the last minute to get your assignments submitted. It is more effective to space out your work each week to help you with building knowledge, problem solving, and overall successfully meet all of the course requirements. Tip number three, embrace the growth mindset. So I mentioned earlier that for many of us, the transition to online learning does not come easy. Now that doesn't mean that you will not be successful in your online course. As a matter of fact, students with a growth mindset believe that knowing they can learn and do well in school can determine their academic success. So this means that even though you may feel uneasy or you might feel nervous because you've never taken an online course before, you also know that staying positive and believing in yourself can make a huge difference. And at Quincy College, our instructors will encourage and guide you every step of the way through your course. Reach out to them and do not hesitate to ask questions, share concerns, and celebrate success. Tip number four, interact with your instructor and peers. Our online courses provide you with time to work on your own and at a pace that works for you. You will be required to submit all assignments or assessments on time. However, our courses will also give you time to interact with your instructor and peers. This time to connect can be in the form of online discussions. For example, do you remember the Start Here module? 
your instructor will have an introduction discussion for you to share a little bit about yourself and learn a little bit about your peers and your instructor. Now, this is very much like the first day of class on campus, you know, when, when everyone introduces themselves to the class. So my suggestion, take this opportunity to read and respond to your peers. Look for what you have in common and what you can learn from each other. Tip number five. Remember that you're not alone. One of the number one concerns about online learning is the dread of being alone. And for many of us who have never taken an online course before, the thinking is that online learning is simply working on a computer on your own without a community. The problem is many of us want and need to be in a group learning environment, like a classroom. So, at Quincy College, you are part of our college community in person and online. And we want you to feel the same sense of belonging in the online classroom that you feel on campus. And just like being in the in-person class, our online classrooms are safe learning environments where you can discuss the course material and talk about your experiences, experiences that we're all facing so that none of us feel alone. And so there you have it, five tips for online academic success. And remember, you are important to us. Your success matters to us. And we are all in this together. And I'm Dr. Lisa DeRusso, Director of Online Learning at Quincy College. Please call me with questions about any online programming, any online courses. You can reach me by email, you can reach me by phone. Thank you for listening.